Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to study the concept of thermal contact resistance. So friends, let's start. See here friends, here this is a composite wall consists of wall A, wall B and wall C. Okay, and this wall has temperatures T1 at this one point, T2 at this interface, T3 at this interface and T4 at this interface and here heat is transferred from this wall that is one location to the fourth location as you can see and here in this case we have assumed contact between adjacent layer is perfect at the interface there is no fall of temperature at the interface temperature is continuous okay here but friends in actual practice there is temperature drop at the interface as you can see in this diagram okay that is here this is the temperature drop as you can see here this one is the temperature drop and here also this one is the temperature drop this temperature drop is in between the a and b walls that is this interface and this temperature drop is in between walls b and c that is this interface okay friends when we see at very micro level at the interface of these walls we can find that the structure or interface will be like this this is the this like this that is you can say it is rough surface at the interface okay as you can see here our first point rough surface roughness that is at the interface there is a surface roughness is always present at very micro level also okay and due to this rough sur surface roughness there are void places spaces which are occupied by the air as you can see here the, these are the void spaces in the larger view we can see here suppose here this part okay as you can see here friends these are the void spaces this one this one this one this gap is void spaces which are occupied by the air and as you can see next further touch only at discrete location as you can see here as you can see here these are the discrete location at this point and this point at this point and at this point and this point let let me enlarge this figure okay as you can see here these are the void spaces which are occupied by air and here at this point at this point and this point and this point uh, only there is a contact between the wall okay touch only at discrete locations touch at only at these points okay further no single plane of contact as you can see here there is no single plane of contact like this there are void spaces okay further area available for heat flow is small as you can see here friends in this situation full area we will get for heat flow and here in this case in real heat transfer there are void spaces between the contacts as you can see because of this there is a very small area for heat flow is available so here large resistance to the heat flow at the interface due to these all factors there is large resistance to heat flow at the interface which is called as thermal contact resistance Further friends, this thermal contact resistance is given by RTH AB is equal to T2 minus T3 upon Q upon A. This is for 
this portion this interface that is between a and b rth ab okay further rth bc is equal to t4 minus t5 upon q upon a here you can see t4 minus t5 upon q upon a okay for this interface so friends in this video we have studied the concept of thermal contact resistance thank you friends for watching this video like share and comment for this video and subscribe my channel thank you